Hey everyone, here's a video tutorial on how to use some basics in Wii Video. First of all, in your dashboard, click on Video. You're going to then start editing. If you click here in the top left corner where it says My Video, you can change it to your name and whatever the title of your project is. So maybe your name, PSA, or digital poem, or whatever you're making. Now, there are many things that we can do here on Wii Video. And I'm going to show you just a couple of basics. First of all, I'm going to pay attention to my video one. This is where I'm going to actually create the images that I'm going to see. I have a couple options. I can click on stock media and use any of the preloaded images, oftentimes they're animated, that we video has to offer. So let's say I want some sunshine. I'll search it. And here's all these great options of sunshine. Ooh, this one's cool. I'm going to drag it, click it, drag it, and drop it on video one. By also using my mouse to drag and uh, drag around, I can make it longer or shorter depending on how long I want it to last in the video. If I want to use my own things, I'll click on my media. I can then hit import and choose a variety of places where I can pull images from. One of the things I like to do is pull right from my Google Drive. And here we go. Here's a JPEG in my Google Drive. I will select it. And then it's going to um, show up right here in my uh, media files. So once it's ready, I can drag and drop that in as well. Perfect. Drag and drop. Again, by stretching it out, I can make it longer or shorter, depending on how long I want this image to show. Another thing I can do as far as images would be to actually use text. So if you click on text, you can see in your, here's your video preview right here. You can see all these cool things that animate text, all these cool ways text can be animated. Um, you can choose which one you like the best. I think that, I think this one was kind of fun. And then drag and drop that into your video as well. To edit what the text says, click the three lines and then the pencil or pen, who knows. And then you can type right here. Um, I'm going to say, have a great day. Apparently, I can also change the color palette if I want to, but I'm going to leave that alone for now. When I'm ready, I'll hit Save Changes. And once again, I can make this longer or shorter depending on how long I want the uh, image to show. Another thing we can do is add audio. So there's a couple of things that we can do, but I'm going to show you the simplest way. Click on audio and you can try all these free music samples. Lots of options. Another thing that's nice is under premium music, we have a premium account through school. They have it um, by mood. So let's say I really want to create some cheerful vibe. I like that. I'm going to drag and drop that into my audio line. So I have my audio going and I have my images. Again, I want my audio and my images to match up. So I'm going to make this much shorter to match up with my images. Now, if I drag this back to the beginning and hit play in my preview, I can see what my video looks like so far. like that was a little too it felt too long on some sections so I'm gonna make some sections a little shorter scooch things over a little bit until I have it just how I want it to look and then I'm gonna get into my voiceover next so one thing that I'm noticing is my music's pretty loud but down here I have a sound bar I can go ahead and scooch it down and make it you know more like 10 percent or yeah, like 10% would be great because I'm going to be recording my voice as well and I don't want the music to drown me out. Which brings me to my last part of this video. Back under My Media, there's a button that says Narrate that I'm going to use. When I click on Narrate, what's going to happen is my video is going to play and it's going to record me talking over the video. So let's give it a try. Here's a bright sunny day and a really cute dog. And I hope everybody has a great day. 
this video rocks. That was pretty cheesy. Um, so now I can preview it and see if I liked it. Here's a bright sunny day and a really cute dog. And I hope everybody has a great day. This video rocks. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, you know, I should probably record that again, but for the sake of this demo, we're gonna hit save. So once I have my narration, how I like it, I can notice that Check it out. I got a voiceover down here on its own new line. I want it to be right um, along with the video, so I'll drag it so everything's all lined up. And then I can play the whole video one more time to make sure it's exactly how I want it with the music and everything. Here's a bright sunny day and a really cute dog. And I hope everybody has a great day. This video rocks. Let's say if I want to get rid of that really cringy, this video rocks. I can also cut part of the audio and delete it if I want to. When I'm totally done, I'll hit finish. And I want to make sure I also go ahead and save this to my Google Drive. So I'll click Drive. It may prompt you to link your Google Gmail account. So please do that if prompted. And then I'll hit Export. And it will finalize my video. Once it's finalized, I should get a nice link that I can share with my teachers and friends and whoever else I want to show my video to. Um, it says ready in 1027. I won't make us wait around for that to happen. Um, but again, that's just a short Wii Video tutorial. There are many cool things you can do on Wii Video, and the Wii Video Academy website has tons of extra videos you can check out if you want to get fancier than me. But if you follow those basics, you will be off to a great start.